Konnichiwa, this is Izan and welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I posted my last video. So today's video will be different. It's going to be on Procreate, believe it or not. I've, I think, I don't believe I've ever posted anything on Procreate before. I mean, in terms of tutorial, but here's one. And I'm, because I've been searching for a very good um, oil painting, uh, I mean, medium, a digital medium uh, to do on but um, seems like it's very difficult to, to, to achieve this uh, in a natural way. Be there is what I, Why I'm saying this is because Procreate has this um, brush called oil paint, right? So I, I've tried it and I've forced myself to get used to it and to love it, but I just can't bring myself to do that because it feels so unnatural. So what I did was I found an alternative and this is called the Leatherwood. Uh, I believe this is as close as it gets. So to, to create that look, I don't know. Uh, you might want you might want to give it a try. If you have tried it before and you know you or you found an alternative to in the oil paint brush, so let me know in the comments below. So, but anyway, today's tutorial will be on how to create um, in uh, a flamingo, a very easy way, and I'm going to show you. Uh, the, the, the t I'm going to give you some tips on how to create this very easily. Now this is a very quick and dirty tutorial on how to quickly you know come up with a flamingo shape, right? So uh, what I'm going to show you is not going to be uh, that clean. So I'm going to show you uh, what I did before and how I got to it. Okay, with another painting. Okay, so uh, without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so hey guys, let's do a tutorial on Procreate. So I'm going to start off with a square canvas. Today we're going to draw a flamingo and I'm going to show you an easy way, a very easy way um, to draw one. So for the color palette, let's take this, okay? Turn, uh, I mean, select the color palette here and then select Ascend. This is uh, what we're going to use for today's tutorial and let's begin so for the brush let's select this color i mean this brush this will be under artistic and it is called leatherwood right so i like this brush because it will produce uh, a painting once you, you know, once you're done it will look like you've just painted oil on canvas and it's very comfortable to draw i mean to use that brush all right it, it feels more natural rather than this brush, uh, which you're gonna find somewhere uh, in painting and oil paint. Oil paint brush doesn't really feel natural at all. So I don't really like to use it. So I'm gonna just use this one, uh, which I just showed just now, which is under artistic and it's called Leatherwood. It's also by uh, Procreate. Okay, so if you have Procreate, you will have that brush. I'm not using any other brushes uh, from outside of Procreate. Okay, so let's begin. So an easy way to do this is to just turn on your palette. I'm gonna use this pink over here. All right, and let's try I'm gonna set the size to about seven. So we're gonna start off with drawing an S. Oh, you see, it's too big. So I'm gonna move it down to about brush size two. I'm gonna repeat that. And let's begin again, like that, see, an S, and then turn like that, see, like a snake, and then we'll go on to there, and let go, and that's it. And then we just draw the legs over here, see that, and then let's carry on, just, I'm, I'm not using pressure right now, I'm not, I'm not putting a lot of pressure on the pencil. So there, like that, and hook, like that. Okay, we're gonna continue that later on. Okay, so here, we're gonna continue to just paint it over, okay? Just gonna use a lighter pink. This will be good. I'm just gonna change the classic. I'm, I'm still gonna see my palette over here, okay? So in any case, I want to change the color, I can do it over here. 
Okay, so just I'm just gonna brush over here like that. That is gonna cover the the feathers like that. that I'm gonna choose a bit darker color and get a bit smaller I'm gonna fill in the shadows of it down, down here the bottom part of the flamingo will be darker okay so here's a here are the feathers this is where the neck is okay I'm just gonna fill in the outline like that Here's the beak, and slowly we see the shape of the flamingo, right? Just gonna use this color again. Just gonna fill this in. Like that. Okay, I'm gonna use a much lighter color, closer to white. Okay, some something over here you can experiment on your own right just try so the light source that will be coming is over this side so whatever okay hits the light from here will be brighter so I'm gonna color in over here a brighter color and over here as well like that see and over here because here is where the neck comes up and hits the light okay and over here okay I'm just gonna fill in the face over here okay and all the way white will be the beak okay so I'm not gonna complete it yet so I'm gonna create a new layer I'm gonna set this as a background layer so what I did was I just tap and hold and move it down here okay so this is gonna be my background layer you can rename this layer if you wish okay rename it but uh, for the purpose of this tutorial I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna go ahead and color this background I'm gonna set the brush size big let's color it in like that Okay, fill it up quickly and set another darker color over here maybe this color over here so I'm just gonna color it I'm not adding pressure now I'm just I'm just putting it in okay I'm not putting in any pressure and select the darker color maybe here let's put it down here something like that Okay. now I don't really see um, any white right in the background so now I can color the flamingo uh, with white color more con more confidently because I can see the contrast so now I can fill it in uh, I've got to remember to set the brush size lower much lower and just put it in like that okay see okay now you can use um, a photograph as a reference okay but to create a fast uh, flamingo just follow that okay that's what I found out an easy way to do okay so the next one it will be a dark color for the tip of the beak so I'm gonna set to somewhere close to black and color the tip like that something like this okay now you can go ahead and clean it up if you wish Oop. set the brush size low okay it doesn't matter so you can just clean it up using the eraser tool and that's it so um, let's continue I'm gonna set the eyes but before we set the eyes you know we've got to color all this uh, in 
right fill in all these gaps so select the color palette and just gonna fill it in fill it in okay I think it's looking quite nice I'm gonna set to a much lighter color fill it in and maybe something like that bigger just an name see see what I'm saying you can see the texture of the I'm not adding any pressure over here you see I'm just lightly coloring it in see and you can actually see the texture coming out the canvas it's pretty cool isn't it I think so all right so you add that okay fill it in light pressure Here, I'm just gonna do this. See, to create that um, wings, the feathers downwards like that. All right. Now for the legs, we're gonna have some um, a light color. Okay, remember to change the brush size lower. It's light that as well as somewhat darker color like that over here see all right so just add in some outline over here some definition so that we can actually see where the neck ends right and we add some um, a bit of uh, dark areas here and dark areas here just have fun okay you just have fun with this you don't have to worry too much about how it's gonna turn out but of course you can um, make some adjustments on your own until you're happy with it right see Add it in. All right, so this is a very quick tutorial on how to create a flamingo easily. So previously, this is what I did, and I found out how to create one, something like that. Okay, so the idea is to create that shape first, and you get that form. And then you fill in all the gaps and you know correct it as you go along and fill it up all right so that's it for the tutorial I hope you enjoyed this all right so I hope you like that video and I hope you you know found this tip useful to quickly draw up a flamingo uh, within procreate as well as try out this uh, new brush I mean not new but you know an alternative to oil uh, painting brush in procreate so if you if you feel this is not really you know close to uh, an oil paint let me know and if you have any suggestions to a different brush within procreate which i do not have to buy all right out from outside of procreate do let me know in the comments below so anyway um that's it for today's video and i hope you have a good day keep painting goodbye